statistic says that there are about 5 billion cell phones out of which 50% of them are smartphones. There are the 30% of people who don't use their security features to access their phone. That is, they don't lock their phone. You lock your car, bike, house door. What about your phone? Well, if you are in doing this now, you should start taking your security, phone security seriously. Because all your business information, all your emails, all your images, all your data are stored in your phone. Hey guys, my name is Alex and today in this video, let's talk about phone security and some tips. So stay tuned. Whenever there is an OS update, we should download and install. We usually don't do it. Why? Because it consumes a lot of data. That's the mistake we are doing, my friends. We are bothered about data, but not about security. This update will include patches for security problems, patches for vulnerability and some other necessary maintenances. You can be on a safer side by installing this update. As I told you, there are 30% of smartphone users don't lock their screen. Locking your screen is the first level of security. Because anyone who picks up your phone can have access to your apps and data. So don't give them a chance. Lock your screen now. Avoid clicking on suspicious link. If you receive an email from unknown user and that email contains any link, think twice before clicking on that link. Because this link may lead you to some dangerous websites where you can be hacked easily. We tend to use same password for all the accounts. Try using different passwords because whenever your password is leaked, this hacker will simply try using the same password to hack all other accounts. I understand it is uh, difficult to remember your passwords. So if that's a problem, try using some recommended software manager to store all your passwords and not to use any open source softwares for storing passwords. I once downloaded a OS image. After installing, I see that some random websites popping up. That's because the OS which I downloaded was already loaded with a lot of bugs. So it is recommended to download any apps from reputed app store. Avoid charging your phone at unknown places. Because your phone not only gets charged, but also transfers data. This method of hacking is called as juice jacking. So be careful and think twice before charging your phone at unknown places. Turn off your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi when not in use. And think twice whenever you're connecting to new devices or new network. There are few apps which can steal your data without your knowledge. And the last one is to use two-factor authentication. If you aren't aware of this, this will send you an OTP after entering the password. This is the second level of security whenever you are logging into some account. Only when you enter this OTP, your account can be accessed. So that's all for today, my friends. See you in the next video. Alex Roshan signing off.